hi everyone and welcome in this video we are going to cover that how you can boot your orange pi rb2 single board computer from the live usb and then how you can integrate that with hdmi screen so you heard that right instead of sd card instead of emmc storage instead of nvme ssd we are going to use pen drive or you can say usb stick to boot our orange pi rv2 single board computer now i guess this is kind of a first single board computer which support this kind of capability i am not sure that any other board available which can directly boot from the live usb okay so here on the camera you can see i have this 10.1 inch hdmi display bluetooth usb keyboard and mouse orange pi rv2 single board computer with the 2gb of ram and here i have 16gb of pen drive which is already flash with ubuntu operating system specifically designed for orange pi rv2 now the beauty of this board is we can directly use this pen drive okay and we can directly boot this board from this pen drive no need of sd card no need of emmc storage and no need of nvme ssd here you can see i haven't attached any ssd here on the back side as well you can see i have no emmc storage no ssd no sd card okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just attach the pen drive on the usb 3.0 slot now here you can see we have total three usb 3.0 slot so you can connect your bootable pen drive to any of the usb 3.0 slot okay make sure that you are connecting your pen drive to the usb 3.0 slot otherwise it is not going to boot so i'm going to connect this here okay and uh, i'll show you the demo that how you can create your own bootable pen drive using balena eacher so all you have to do is you just have to open the balena eacher software okay and then you have to select this option flash from file and you have to select your operating system so for the orange pi i have the rb2 board and here is the ubuntu operating system and which is desktop image and here this is the one which i have flash to this pen drive okay so you have to select this image you have to select your target which is your pen drive and then you have to just click on the flash button it will take at least 15 minutes to completely flash this orange pi ubuntu image to pen drive so to save the time i have already done that part now we are going to connect everything and we'll see the live booting from the usb so what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect this board with this screen using hdmi cable so here is my hdmi cable now i'm going to connect this screen with this uh, orange pi rv2 single board computer for the touch and keyboard inputs okay so here is my usb to micro usb cable now we can turn on the orange pi rv2 single board computer and it will boot from our pen drive okay you can see no ssd on the back side as well we don't have any ssd sd card or emmc storage okay and now i am going to connect the power supply and that's it and here you can see we have successfully booted our orange pi rv2 single board computer with the live usb okay and here you can see i can access the screen and that's it okay now you can also access every application and everything is running in this pen drive i mean the entire operating system is in the pen drive now if you have 64 gb of pen drive or 32 gb of pen drive or any pen drive you can flash it with the ubuntu operating system designed for the orange pi rv2 single board computer and then you can plug that usb into the usb 3.0 slot and then you can uh, turn it on and then you have your own uh, you know mini pc using this orange pi rv2 single board computer now let me show you the details okay for this board now i'm going to connect the bluetooth okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect this bluetooth keyboard and mouse with my orange pi rv2 single board computer so i'm going to turn on the bluetooth for this keyboard and we'll wait until this appears here okay bt keyboard connected and here you can see i'm able to access from this keyboard now i'm going to close this and here you can see i can you know 
uh, type any command ls nothing inside this okay now ls block and here you can see ls block sda sda1 which is our 16 gb of pen drive there is no other mmc block available so we are booting it from the pen drive so that's why no other block only sda and sda1 okay now let's check the free memory so free hyphen h okay you can see so we have total 1.9 gb of ram available and here is other details now let's check the cpu so ls cpu and here you can see eight core cpu okay and now let's check the free space so df hyphen h okay here you can see 9.2 gb of memory is available in the root directory so we are having 16 gb pen drive and from that uh, 34 percentage is used and rest is available for the normal operation so in that space you can install your software okay you can install the node raid you can install any other software and you can use this rb2 single boot computer anytime just plug the pen drive boot it and use it remove the pen drive and that's it okay so that is possible with this orange by rb2 single boot computer and which is i think very best okay because i haven't seen anything like this before that i can directly boot the uh, you know single boot computer from the pen drive so i hope that's clear and if you have any question or any doubt in this then you can you know ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere and if you haven't subscribed our channel yet please do subscribe so it will motivate us okay now let's meet in the future videos and in the future we are going to you know uh, boot our orange by rb2 single board computer from the emmc storage so here let me show you the emmc storage so here is our camera and here i have the emmc storage for our orange by single board computer the size of this emmc storage is 32 gb okay so we are going to you know boot our orange by rb2 single board computer from this emmc storage instead of pen drive ssd or sd card okay but to initiate the process we need the sd card first and then after we are going to copy the entire content of the sd card to this emmc storage and then after we don't have to use the sd card so that thing we are going to cover in the next video so stay tuned for the next video till then i'm going to shut it down okay and we'll meet you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you